congratulations on the purchase of your new XT16HR Island. Today, we're gonna to show you how to set it up, starting with the stabilizer legs. To lower the stabilizer legs, take a little bit of weight off the end of it, pull the blue handle out, and lower the stabiliser leg down. Once it's down, lock it into position, grab your brace, attach it to the hex nut, and wind it down until it's firm. Do that with all four stabiliser legs. Next, we set up the steps. Push down on the bar at the back, pull the steps forward, and lock them into place, and you're ready to go. Setting up the kitchen is easy. Simply open the hatch, raise the pad bolt, twist, and then lock it in its up position. Press down on the blue tab on the slide and pull the kitchen out. The kitchen then folds out, undo the bungee straps, flip that over. To put up the windshield, pull it across, up, and then sit it into place. Now for the dish rack. Undo the bungee chip cord on this side, raise it up, and these pins, give them a twist and lock it into place, and that'll hold the frame up. To drop down the trays, pull the little lever on the side out, drop them down, then lock them back into place. Do that for both of them. And your drying rack's ready to go. Now, we need to connect up the water and the gas. Now to connect up, we'll grab our gas bayonet first. There's notches on the side. You'll see where they line up on the little female receiver inside. Plug it in, push and twist, and your gas is connected. Now for the water, the conduit coated hose, or the one with the red interior, is the hot water. That goes into this fitting on the left. Push it in and it snaps close. Now, the cold water and our kitchen's almost ready to use. Don't forget to get your kitchen drain hose out and run it into a bucket or somewhere away from the camper if you're allowed to drop water on the ground. Now we're all connected up. Before we start cooking, we need to install the kitchen leg. Pop it into its little receiver underneath there, adjust it, tighten the knob. Now that's supported so you can put all your pots and pans on there. Connecting the gas on an MDC caravan is very easy. Before you connect the gas, check the condition of this O-ring. Make sure there's no cuts, no abrasions, and it's there in one piece in good condition. Pop it into the gas bottle and turn to the left or counterclockwise. Get it in tight and turn your gas bottle on. Now we can go inside, turn our power on, and set up the outside awning. Simply turn the main switch to the right and everything will illuminate on the panel. You're powered up, ready to go. Just make sure your door's secured out of the way and the awning switch is just inside the door here on the wall. Click the switch to open and the electric awning will start doing its thing. Now because this awning's on a limit switch where it will stop when it gets to full extension, you don't have to stand by the switch. As the awning comes to a point where you can reach it, We can unlock the legs, be sure to pull them out evenly, and then we can extend them. Just pop that round in front of the kitchen. Now with the awning, you've got two choices. You can leave the legs vertical like this and peg them in at the bottom, or you can bring them up and put them into these little holders on the side of the caravan. Lock the top down 
and that will support your awning. Before you engage the hot water system, you need to come around to the side of your caravan and take off the flue cover. First open the big panel. So we remove this cover and that clears the vent, allows hot air to escape from the hot water system. So now that we've removed the covers from our hot water system on the outside, we need to switch it on on the inside. First, we put on the water pump and the hot water switch. So now everything's switched on, gas is connected, water's on. To switch it on, simply push the button. To the centre is the off position. To select the temperature, up is for 60 degrees, down is for 70. So that's how we set up the XT16HR Island. It only takes a few minutes in real time, but we give you the details so you get it right every time.